excited to get your new DJI Mini 3 Pro, but not sure where to start? We are unboxing this incredible drone and walking you through the first steps to get it ready for flight. Let's dive into the setup process and get your drone ready for takeoff. Let's open the box and see what's inside. First, you should find the drone with the battery already on it. To safeguard the camera lens and gimbal axis arm, you had better attach the gimbal protector to your drone during daily storage or carrying outdoors. The second item is the RC remote controller. Featuring a 5.5 inch full high definition screen, weighing only 390 grams and offering a 4 hour ultra long run time. DJI RC is equipped with dual spring control sticks for a smoother and more precise control experience. Type-C power delivery cable, spare propellers and screws, and a screwdriver for replacing the propellers. To begin with, you should unfold the drone as demonstrated in the video. To remove the gimbal protector, push the lower buckle towards the camera. It is important to remove all the protectors because when we turn on the drone, the gimbal and the propellers will rotate slightly as part of the pre-checks. Before first use, we need to charge the drone to activate the battery. Note that the battery can be charged without being removed from the drone. You will notice that if we don't charge it, the drone won't power on at all. When used with a DJI 30W USB-C charger, it takes about 64 minutes to fully charge one intelligent flight battery. If you want to remove the battery, press lightly and pull out. To install the battery, insert until you hear the click sound. Charge the controller as well to ensure it doesn't run out of battery during the updates, as it's almost certain that when we turn it on for the first time, it will find firmware updates. Press the power button at the top of the drone once and then press and hold it for 2 seconds until the battery level LEDs blink green and the warning tone is played. Press the power button once and then press and hold it for 2 seconds until the battery level LEDs blink green and the warning tone is played at the RC controller as well. At this point, select the display language, read the software terms of use and if you agree, click on agree button and then select your country. You need to connect to Wi-Fi to complete the activation, so connect to your home Wi-Fi network. Choose your time zone and then login to your DJI account. Press the activate button. Join product improved project if you wish. At this point you see a basic operation manual. Click Agree in order to activate the drone. Along with the drone, I also received DJI Care Refresh, so there is no need for any additional procedures. Just handle everything through the DJI RC. As you see, drone firmware update is available, so click on install to download it and install it. Everything that happens is motivation. Download FlySafe data as well. Everything 
DJI Mini 3 Pro includes a modest 1.2 GB of internal storage, so you can snap some photos and record videos if you forget to insert a memory card and you are up in the air. Photos and videos are stored in the internal storage by default if a micro SD card is not installed. DJI RC does not come with an internal storage but can be equipped with a micro SD card. After a memory card is installed, you can use the product for capturing photos, videos, keeping cache files and recording screen. If you won't use it for caching files or recording screen, the memory card is not a must. Before your first flight, make sure that you change these settings. I prefer the drone to bypass obstacles in its path rather than stopping. I want the drone to be able to fly sideways, so I disable this option. Calibrating the Compass and MIU inertial measurement unit on a DJI drone is very important for several reasons. Accuracy. Calibration ensures that the drone sensor accurately detects its orientation and position. Safety. Proper calibration helps prevent unexpected behaviors such as drifting or erratic movements which can lead to accidents or crashes. Performance. Accurate calibration enhances the drone's performance, including its ability to hold attitude, maintain a steady position and navigate safely. Reliability. Regular calibration helps maintain the reliability of the drone systems over time, ensuring consistent performance across different flights. Regulations. In some regions, regular calibration may be required to comply with local regulations for safe drone operation. Another important setting is this. At a signal loss between drone and controller, the drone will return to home, so remember before every flight, update your home point. Kimball calibration is important as well, so place the aircraft on the even surface. I am used to fly my drone with uh, this mode, mode 2, so if you want to change or try something else, feel free to change mode or create your custom mode. I will leave it as it is. Here you can also configure the other buttons according to your likes. I will leave it as it is, because as I said I'm used to, to this way. For me this button is very useful because with one click You turn from landscape to portrait if you want to take pictures and upload it to social media, Instagram. And with one click again, you turn to landscape. The C1 button, as you see, I have tilted the camera down and with one click, it resenders my gimbal to zero angle, zero degree. The drone offers two color profiles, normal and Disney like Disney like is a flat color profile designed for a more cinematic look with reduced contrast and saturation. Normal is a standard color profile with vibrant and high contrast colors. I prefer to shoot in normal mode except for special cases where I will do post-processing and color grading, but 99% of time I shoot in normal mode. It helps me a lot to enable the grid lines so I can center my shot. Last, you can change the name of the drone, you don't have to, but it can be helpful for personalizing and easily identifying, especially if you have multiple drones. Changing the Wi-Fi name will be useful to easily identify your drone if you transfer the photos from drone to the smartphone via quick transfer. I will leave a link in the description because that's another video how to export your photos from the drone. Congratulations! Your DJI Mini 3 Pro is now ready for action. Remember to follow local regulations and keep practicing to master your flying skills. Until next time, stay safe!